The one skill you need in IT. Uh, okay, one skill, what's this guy playing at? There's not only one skill in information technology. Okay, ho hold on, hear me out. I truly believe this one skill is the reason I went from selling toilets to apartment complexes, glamorous job, to making over $100,000 a year as an IT professional. Welcome back to Network Shock. Okay, this video is for two types of people. People who are currently in IT and the people who are not in IT, which yeah, I know is, is everyone. See what I did there? So this one skill, I'm just gonna give it to you right here. End of the video right now, here we go. It's a skill that many of you already possess. It's customer service. It's, it's knowing how to deal with people, knowing how to talk to people. So if you work in a, a call center or Starbucks or McDonald's or where, wherever, anywhere you have to deal with people, you have the beginnings of what I consider the most valuable skill in IT. So, okay, I'll dive deeper into why I think that is here in a second. But for many of you, you may be watching this and thinking, why do I even care about IT or information technology? Good point. Uh, but for those of you who already know me, uh, you'll probably say, oh, because it's awesome, Chuck. Yeah. For those of you who need a little convincing, I get it. Here are my top three reasons in 20 seconds. Ready, go. Number one, I'm never bored. In fact, most of the time I'm having a blast. Number two, I started with nothing, no IT knowledge, no degree. I still don't have a degree by the way. And within five years, I was making more money than I ever thought I would. And number three, there are just a ton of jobs out there. I mean, a ton. So many that we can't fill the jobs. We need you. This is kind of like a begging opportunity for me. Like, please, we need your help. Come join IT. That may have been longer than 20 seconds, but who was counting? Were you counting that you're weird? <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This guy sounds like Ty Lopez or somebody just saying, oh, join this career now. You can make a ton of money. But don't take my word for it. Look at the comments below. So guys, if you're a part of my team, if you if you are a network engineer or in IT, comment below and let all the people who don't know about IT how awesome it is and how you started your journey and how you got to where you are. I think that would be inspiring. I can't wait to see it. So don't take my word for it, look below. Now, speaking of IT, <laughs> we've been talking about IT the whole time, I know. This is day two of a giveaway I'm doing. So if you're thinking about IT, maybe if you're just like, oh, I'm convinced, I'm giving away some training for IT. And that's one of the huge benefits of IT is you can kind of teach yourself self-taught situations. I'm giving away what's called Boson or Boson, 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 uh, NetSim, which is a fantastic, amazing tool that'll help you earn your CCNA certification, which is an amazing IT certification that will get you so far in your career. In fact, I just did a video with my little brother how he got a CCNA and got a job as a network admin in IT making between 60 and 70,000 a year. No college, by the way. So I am giving away one copy of Boson NetSim to help you get your CCNA. I'm using it right now for a higher level cert, CCMP, and I stink and love it. It's amazing. Watch until the end of the video to figure out how to enter and I'll announce the winners tomorrow. Okay, woo, <laughs> I'm excited about this. Now I wanna tackle some cliches or stereotypes about people in IT. And honestly, it's what I thought too before I got into it. And let me start with this. I truly believe that anyone, including you, anybody, can have an incredible, fantastic, amazing career in IT. But Chuck, I'm not a nerd. I mean, I don't know much about computers. I, I like Facebook, I like YouTube, I like my phone, but that's about it. I'm helpless beyond that. Okay, let me bust that. Before I started in IT, I wasn't a nerd. I mean, I sold toilets, but I wasn't like a computer nerd. I didn't build computers. I played video games. I loved video games. And I, I had the first iPhone. That's, that, that's something. But beyond that, I wasn't I, an IT guy. This wasn't me. So you don't have to be a child prodigy where you're designing you know, apps for Facebook when you're three years old. You don't have to have been a member of the AV club in high school. No, you can be anybody. And uh, can I be honest with you? I suck at math. Oh, no, what was that? I suck at math. <laughs> I am an IT professional. I've progressed to the point where I can talk about it on the internet, <laughs> if that means anything. It doesn't. And I suck at math. In fact, I don't like math at all. Me and math are friends. We're just not. Now, calm down people, I know. There are some areas in IT that require some really killer math skills. I get that. But I'm not programming algorithms and I would wager that many of you don't wanna do that either or don't do that now. There are a ton of different areas in IT where it doesn't need a math genius. And then one more thing I wanna bust, more myth, I guess. I'm a myth buster, okay, that's what I'm doing now. Is that IT guys only fall into like one of two categories. Either you're programming at Facebook and Google or you're the guy who answers the phone calls when your computer is broken. There is so much more than that in IT. I would wager that anybody, no matter what your interest is, you could be in IT. Seriously, we have project managers who 
are those organization people that I don't understand, but that might be you. And they manage projects for IT people. You can become a programmer if you want. You can become a, a network engineer like me, which when I tell people what I do, I basically make the internet run. So um, you're welcome. Or you can just enjoy talking with people and helping them. And that brings me to the deeper dive on why I think customer service is the number one skill for an IT professional, no matter what level you are. So now I'm gonna flip things a bit. I'm talking to you IT professionals. For me, it's been the most valuable skill in my career. Being able to help people, to empathize with people, to help them solve their problems, which are the same skills I used when I was a Starbucks barista. <laughs> oh man, those people are cranky in the mornings. I get it, I'll love me some coffee too. And I gotta be honest, for those of us in the IT field, um, we're not known for our, uh, our people skills, are we? <laughs> it seems the higher you go in IT, the uh, more awkward you are. <laughs> Not always the case, but a lot of the time it is. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with that. Now, I know a lot of you are probably gonna start bashing me saying, oh, that's not the number one I, uh, skill you need in IT. Oh no, the number one skill needs to be programming. Well, the number one skill is cybersecurity. The number one skill is building websites. No, those are amazing skills. And I encourage you to build up those skills because those are valuable. However, you will never reach your full potential as an IT professional without learning how to deal with people because you will always have to deal with people whether it's a project manager, whether it's your fellow IT people, whether it's managers that you have to communicate to about projects you wanna implement, you have to learn how to communicate. The biggest thing, and my brother and I just covered that when he was covering how he interviewed and, and got his first network admin job, is when you interview, you have to learn how to talk to people in an interview. You have to show that you can communicate effectively because more and more, that is the skill that people want. And for all my IT folks out there, I know that a big fear for IT professionals is that a lot of our jobs are going to become automated, meaning we're gonna lose our jobs because machines can do what we already do now. And honestly, I can't say for sure if that's going to happen or not. But what I can tell you is they can never properly automate people and dealing with people yet. <laughs> Have you seen some of the stuff they're coming out with? But I think they're pretty far away. <laughs> I think we're safe for at least the next 10 years. Fingers crossed. But no, I, I joke. Really, truly, knowing how to deal with people, being able to empathize and help them solve problems or help them see value in something, be able to explain something, that is a killer, killer skill. Because you can be a genius. There are IT people out there who are complete nerds. I'm aspiring to be a complete nerd. And they're really great at their jobs and they, are, they just know so much, their brains are just oozing IT knowledge. But they fail to communicate how good they are. They fail to communicate to their bosses their accomplishments. And a lot of the time your bosses might be non-IT people so they don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> so you have to learn how to communicate effectively uh, in, in layman's terms or just terms that normal people can understand. Drop a bomble. Here we go, it's that time. So the first five people to enter the hashtag below, uh, 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 I'm not giving it to you just yet. Let me tell you what you're getting. It's, the, uh, it's David Bomble's CCNA training. The whole course, CSENT to ICND2, both parts, CCNA. He does a great job of the course, really stellar training. The first five people who enter the hashtag below, hashtag subscribe to David Bomble, you guys are gonna win. First five, hurry up and get it down there, hurry. Anyways, back to the video. All right, IT people, non-IT people, talking to you now. That's everyone. I love IT because it's such an opportunity for everyone. So no matter what stage you're in, if you, I know for me, I got into IT because I was making barely any money. Uh, my wife and I just had our first baby. I didn't have any college and I just decided to start learning IT. The cost of entry was buying a book and some, and some video training to get my first certification. And I, I got an entry level role on, on a help desk. And this was an IT role and really the, the bulk of my job. While I was learning IT and starting to fall in love with it and, and, and having fun, the bulk of my job was talking to people and dealing with people. And yeah, my IT skills really increased, but it was my customer service. It was all that time selling toilets. It was time making Starbucks drinks and working for Jack in the Box and all those other jobs. It was those skills that got me far. So this is my message to you. Guys, gals, wherever you are at in your life, what stage you're in, you can switch careers right now and just totally change your life and jump into IT. A lot of you already possess the number one skill you need. The rest, you can learn on the job, or you can learn very quickly with IT certifications. I mean, when I was working in the call center, I, between calls, I had my book open and I was studying. I wasn't doing WGU, I wasn't doing University of Phoenix. This is my own self-paced thing. I wasn't paying a ton of money and getting in debt with student loans. No, I just bought a book, 
50 bucks. Video training, it was like 50 bucks. It's even cheaper now, check that out below. And I just got started. I decided to change my life right then. Now, for those of you who may not possess the customer service skill, or maybe you, you have trouble talking to people and getting your points across and really just dealing with people, right? You might have that problem. I understand that, but it's a skill that can be learned. I mean, I, I'm an introvert. A lot of people might find that surprising because I get on YouTube and I just kind of scream at the camera and I seem really outgoing. I'm not, I'm an introvert. <laughs> this kind of thing did not come uh, natural to me. I had to learn this. There are so many amazing YouTube channels, I'll link them below, that can help you learn how to like um, gain more charisma, how to have a better presence and start talking to people and how to just do all that kind of stuff. It's, it's really amazing. So I'm not the expert. I just follow some other people and, and just copy what they did. And now I talk to cameras all day. So if you're at all interested in learning about a career in IT or becoming an IT professional, let me tell you, you're going to love it. <laughs> um, I got some links below for how you can get started. I'm not even kidding when I say you can get a video course for $10 and start training right this second. Look below, I'm not even kidding. It's this this uh, this guy, Mike Myers, he does some amazing A-plus training. He's he's what I watched when I first uh, started learning IT. I paid, I said 50 bucks, I was just like a guess. I, I paid like $200 for his training course back in the day. Now it's $10. It's never been easier to start a career in IT, but I made this video because not a lot of people understand what IT is, and I know I didn't really cover the details of what IT is, but I wanted to cover that anybody can get started and, and, and do it. And you don't have to be a nerd or a programmer or any of that stuff. You can be a regular person that likes talking to people and that's kind of like what you like doing. Well, that's you could do that in IT. I could talk about this forever. So let me just get to the giveaway. This is day two of my 10 day giveaway. Today I am giving away Boson, 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 NetSim. Again, this is for the CCNA. Uh, if you are looking to get your CCNA or you're working on your CCNA certification right now, the Cisco Certified Network Associate exam. It's a killer exam. I have it. Once you get it and put it on your resume, you're going to be very valuable. Uh, so this software, it allows you to lab everything you're learning in the CCNA. Um, it'll grade your labs. It'll prepare you for the exam. You'll feel really confident. It has pre-built uh, topologies. A fancy word for just a bunch of routers and switches and you can work through it and they teach you while you're going through and they grade your labs to see how good you did when you typed in all these you know commands like a wizard it's a killer software i'm using it for my ccmp it's awesome so the one i'm giving away today is for the ccna you can uh, check it out at the link below and also enter the contest at the link below i'll be announcing the winners tomorrow all right guys thank you so much for watching um if this is your first time watching my channel uh, again i'm network chuck I, I'm an IT guy. I've done everything in IT from help desk to fixing computers to working on servers to configuring routers and switches that you know run the internet to phones. I play with phones a lot, <laughs> phone systems. Uh, and now I create IT training for CBT Nuggets. I love IT. I try to make as much content about it as I can and to inspire people um, who are like me, who started out and they had no idea what they're doing, but they knew they wanted to change their lives and they knew they needed a career so I'm trying to inspire people to get on the right track. Maybe not the right track, but this track, and this track is awesome. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell button for notifications, because I am doing another giveaway tomorrow. And I think I've had too much coffee. Wrong, you can never have too much coffee. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.